There's a stink over sewers. An issue on the town meeting day ballot has the town divided over the best place plan to keep the waters of Mallets Bay clean. Local 22's Sam Israel is live along the bay. Sam? Well, Devin, a proposed sewage project would connect 289 properties from Mallets Bay all the way to a South Burlington plant. And these properties range, you know, about two and a half miles. They go from West Lakeshore Drive all the way to East Lakeshore Drive around Goodell's Point. Everyone agrees that Mallets Bay is in need of a solution when it comes to pollution. But how to fix the problem has people split. And it addresses uh, the failing septic systems, which is basically pouring a, uh, human feces into the waters, which is uh, creating a uh, human-born E. coli, which is, is a big problem if you're swimming in the water. We're saying this is overkill, and it's a waste of money. It's, and it's also putting all of our dollars like at the roulette uh, wheel. You're just taking one shot to try to deal with the problem. Plan to connect parts of Mallets Bay to a South Burlington water treatment isn't a new one. It's been on the ballot before in 2009 and in 2019. It was defeated each time. But this plan doesn't rely fully on taxpayer money. A big chunk comes from federal dollars. So it's a $16.7 million proposal where 64% of it is funded by uh, federal and state grants. The remaining portion is funded by the users of the sewer system, so there are no property taxes, no local, local option taxes associated with this. Opponents are concerned that placing more infrastructure by the bay will lead to more sewage leaks. We think that's a bad solution so close to the lake. Scully and other opponents say it only addresses the human waste impact, about 8% and it's an ineffective use of money. Now, the director of Public Works tells me that these properties have had about 17 septic failures over the past 12 years. That's three or four times more failures in these properties than in any other area in Colchester. Reporting live from Bayside Park in Colchester, Vermont, Sam Israel, Local 22 News.